Experts say the construction industry may increase demand for 3D printing of entire homes. Today, the Assistant Secretary of Housing and Urban Development was here in Maine to check out one such home. Biohome 3D was built by engineers at the University of Maine in Orono, and as New Center Maine's Drew Peters shows us, it could be a solution to the state's and the nation's affordable housing crisis. We haven't invested um, in, in really building up our housing stock for the last 30 years, so this is really our opportunity as a nation to continue to, to focus on that. The affordable housing shortage can be felt throughout the country, and that's no different here in Maine. Hoping to address this, members of the Department of Housing and Urban Development and UMaine are working together to come up with an innovative solution involving the world's largest 3D printer. We're all about uh, building new technologies that can solve problems that really matter here in the state of Maine in particular. Nearly two years ago, the university's Advanced Structures and Composites Center unveiled Biohome 3D the first completely bio-based 3D printed home. We've looked at how it's held up under the cold main winters and snow and ice and low temperatures and also heat. Unlike other 3D printed structures, the 600 square foot home is fabricated out of wood waste from sawmills and other recycled materials. The construction process is not only more environmentally friendly, but also less time consuming and requires little physical labor, overall making it a more affordable option. Not everyone can afford a $400,000 home. So just this technology really allows um, builders to be able to reduce those costs. After touring the home, McLean says she sees the project as something other parts of the country can look to for inspiration. Helping other states who are looking at how do I shift my industry industries uh, based upon the, uh, the current needs that are out there. So possibilities are endless. HUD and UMaine are partnering to hopefully bring nine bio-based 3D printed homes to the Bangor area sometime in the future. In Orono, Drew Peters, News Center, Maine.